Wow. Um, That's good advice. And Connor, what are you going to university for? Uh, I'm in university right now as a biology major with a pre-med track in the hopes of Whoa. being a orthopedic surgery or surgeon with a specialty in elbows and in knees. Whoa. So guys, if you're using your elbow a lot as you're doing this 3D CAD, this guy here, this guy back here, he knows he's giving you the right advice. So that is awesome. Drink water. It's a healthy habit. Yo, that is fantastic advice. Yeah. Guys. Good luck on this next match. I know you guys are already in the groove. I know you guys are feeling. I know you guys are ready for the next one. So here we go. We're going to do this next match. Then we'll take a short bio break, and then we'll come back, and we'll finish this thing out. But let's get this next match underway. And here we go. Here we go. This next CAD versus CAD battle featuring Atze from Macedonia, our number nine seed, and Ricardo Jean from Italy, our number two seed. This is for the World Championship of 3D CAD. Atze has one point. Ricardo Jean has one point. You need three points to take down the championship. Let's see who's going to earn this next one. This next CAD versus CAD battle begins in three, three two, two, one. Go! Go. What is the mass of this part in xx.xx grams? The tolerance is plus or minus 0.03 grams. This model is made out of ABS and it's called Ice Tray Top. Good luck to our runners. Good luck to our runners. This is going to be a tricky model, but I think you guys can get through it. Make sure you take your time, look at the notes, and guys, both of our runners are already in their CAD systems, and both of our runners are already modeling. So we can see here that we've got Atze on the left using SolidWorks, Ricardo Jean on the right using SolidWorks, and this part is called Ice Tray Top. Tricky, tricky part here. Yeah. We got some uh, spherical cuts. And we've got these spherical cuts in a pattern of some sort. So we see here in the chat, uh, Matab in the chat saying pattern again. Yep, another pattern. Although, you know, that one with the wires wasn't necessarily a pattern. I don't think anybody did that. Uh, Monty saying pattern. Yep, looks like it'll be a pattern. Looks like there's plastic wrap pops. Yep, looks kind of like bubble fidgets. Yep, it definitely does. And uh, Honor Terser saying, Tootal Toby, it came from your fridge. Yes, indeed, my friend. That is exactly where it came from. And uh, maybe we'll even show you guys what it looks like when we're done here. We'll go to full screen and show you guys what it looks like. But wow, we see Atze on the left drawing first blood, getting that solid feature in there, uh, getting that that brim running around the bottom as well. Very nicely done. Ricardo Jean on the right. Looks like maybe he's just taking a moment here and kind of planning a little bit. And now he's going to try and turn that plan into reality. And uh, very interesting, very interesting from both of our runners here. Uh, interesting that both of our runners have a... a it's interesting that both of our runners have these... Uh, oh, I, I see what's happening. They both have their um, temporary axes showing. I'm kind of wondering what those those double dots are doing, but I think those are just our temporary axes. And so now we see Ate getting in here and getting ready to create this first feature. He's got a game plan. He knows what he's doing here. He's jumping right into it here. And we also see that we've got uh, Ricardo Jean on the right looking at this thing, looking down from the top. He knows what he's doing. He's got a game plan. He's jumping into this as well. Uh, very interesting model here. I think that what we're going to see a lot this time around, Connor, is we're going to see our runners kind of stopping and looking at the drawing and uh, asking themselves if they're doing it right. And they're both going to be kind of trying to figure out what is the actual game plan for this. And then when we get into the pattern, I think we're going to see some interesting challenges with the pattern as well. Yeah, I think that um, especially with Tier 6 and with these two runners, Atze and Ricardo, who have been here before and have this in their first rodeo, uh, they, they'll see this and it seems like not the craziest complicated, but then they'll remember that it was Too Tall Toby who designed it and he purposely makes it kind of difficult for a lot of these. <laughs> yes, so indeed. you can't use exploits. Yes, indeed. Sven in the chat saying, what exactly defines first blood? I usually just say it when I see somebody create the first feature, the first solid. And uh, it certainly is possible that occasionally I get it wrong. Like I might I might say first blood and the first blood was actually the other person. But yeah, we just say it's the first extrude. Yeah, the first solid feature on screen. Yep. We, give, we give them first blood. So Ricardo Jean, interesting, decided to uh, create that sketch and do a, uh, looks like he did a cut revolve with that sketch and getting in that first uh, little like a uh, bubble shape there from that sketch. And now what is he using here? Is he using a pattern? No, he's using a move copy. Very interesting. So yeah, I couldn't really tell what was going on, but it did indeed look like he created that as a solid rather than creating it as a, uh, created it as a solid rather than creating it as a, um, a uh, cut. I think I said a, it was a cut a moment ago, but actually, it looks like he did it as a solid. I'm looking at the tree again. It looks like it's more of that like macaroni noodle as a solid. So it 
he's yeah metab in the chat saying maybe he's doing a boolean approach very interesting so with boolean you can see that he's going to be um uh creating the solids you know kind of laying those solids over the entire model and then doing some type of a subtract with those solids and we see Atse on the left doing a fill pattern interesting Ooh. approach here wow i was not expecting that at all and doing a fill pattern here and maybe overfilling to create that shape. Let's see, in the fill pattern, can you specify the angle? It looks like you can. Oh my goodness. Wow. Wow, I was not expecting that. Holy smokes. That was really, really impressive. Wow, 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 wow. Nice job to Atse coming up with that workflow. And uh, look at that. Look at how quickly he was able to get in there and pattern that. And then uh, and then shell, he applied that shell on the bottom. So it looks like Atse uh, definitely in good shape here uh, with this model. But listen, guys, we're far from over here. There's still some other elements of this model that need to be accounted for. Yeah. So for example, he's going in now and it looks like maybe he's creating the cut extrude. Now, what is he going to do with that cut extrude? Can he use the same trick with the cut extrude now that he's kind of butchered that? face we'll see what we'll see what happens we're gonna watch here we're gonna see how he does it uh krishna in the chat saying i'd say don't forget to save yeah that's probably good advice yeah very good advice <laughs> yeah i like that for liquid works <laughs> uh, i was not expecting that that's funny uh all right and um Let's see here now. Ate taking a look at this thing from a section view, uh, trying to figure out what's going on. If you guys notice on the bottom of this part, you know, there's even some additional additional geometry going on on the bottom of this part. There's some ribs on the bottom of this part that our runners have to account for as well. And so yeah. it looks like Ate is getting in there and uh, trying to account for that. But um, yeah, this this is definitely a tier six model here, uh, really close to a tier seven, but a tier six model here. And uh, uh, a lot of features on this model and even some extra features at the end, which we can see Atze trying to go through and accomplish. You can sort of see that. It's a little bit obfuscated by the overlay, but I think there we go. You can see that he got in there and created that that rib shape. So he's got one of them. Really neat what... I was really trying to figure out what Ricardo is doing right now. Yeah, he's yeah. He's doing some, definitely some unorthodox methodology with this. Yeah, wow. Pick the entire face for that shape. Interesting. Yeah, part of what makes this model a little bit tricky is uh, is what's going on with that, uh, you know, with that fillet there that Ricardo just dropped in there. And I think that we might end up seeing a, a delete face here. It looks like, yeah, he is in the delete face command uh, because that, you know, that those fillets are not identical. Uh, there's a little bit of a variance there yeah. on those fillets. So him picking that top face, what I thought was a great way of doing it. The problem is now he's got to uh, figure out a way to... Wow, look at this. He's going to use a face fillet and select tangency to go around and get that larger fillet. And Atze comes in with an answer. 94.51. That is not correct. That is not correct with intolerance. So Atze coming in with his answer. Um, and uh, my gosh, guys, we saw a couple of things there. First of all, Atze coming with his, an his answer within six minutes and 50 seconds. Incredible. And then uh, I was watching Ricardo Jean and Ricardo Jean coming in or, or creating that extra fillet using a face fillet. That was really, really clever. I was definitely not expecting that. So that was, that was uh, man, really awesome. I got to give a huge shout out to Ricardo Jean uh, because a face fillet will just kind of uh, it, it'll kind of bulldoze over the the uh, original fillet um, guys if you know you know that was that was incredible yeah. uh, but we're still going here Atze has answered wrong one time our runners are allowed to answer incorrectly one time and then they can go through and they can try to figure out what they did that was incorrect so Atze looks like uh, maybe he was missing something on his print and so he's going to add uh, he's going to add something to this print uh, or to his pattern it looks like so it looks like maybe he was missing uh, there, he was definitely missing something, and it looks like maybe he's adding that in now and uh, trying to figure out if that's going to be enough uh, to give him the results that he needs. And wow. Wow, wow, wow. So impressive from both of our runners. That face fillet was super creative. Yeah, I yeah. got to say that was that was definitely um, the, hi the highlight of this match and possibly the highlight of the entire tournament. I'll be honest. That was, that was really cool yeah. seeing that face fillet. I was not expecting that at all. And uh, yeah, and and GTH seven seventh GTH seventh. G we're gonna, the seventh. Uh, we're gonna G seventh G the seventh. Uh, we're gonna try and make sure that we uh, don't don't tell them uh, if you if you happen to notice anything that maybe looks out of line. We're not gonna tell them. We're gonna let them figure it out on their own. Yeah, it's I don't know. This is like a classic Ricardo moment where he's just. Mm. doing some weird stuff and and then it all comes together and you're like wow i didn't i did not see that coming classic ricardo moment yo let's see what happens here 
Uh, we're going to see here what happens with these runners. Um, and they are, you know, they are both, e either one of them could easily jump in and take this over. And wow, Matab is probably really enjoying this part of the challenge where uh, Atze is using a sketch pattern. Uh, Matab is famous for saying that sketch pattern is his least favorite feature oh. in SolidWorks. And now we see Atze using sketch pattern here. And uh, wow, look at this neck and neck. Both of our runners are going to be coming in with an answer. We're watching the chat. We're watching the chat. At. Look at how close these guys are. This is incredible. Oh, and Atze, first. Atze comes in with his answer first. 94.04 grams. And within a second, Ricardo comes in with his answer. 94.03 grams. Guys, the correct answer is 94.05 grams plus or minus 0 0.03. The point goes to Atze. Congratulations wow. to Atze. And holy smokes, were those answers fast coming in. Yeah. A tier six model. This is truly the world championship of 3D CAD speed modeling. Atze now has two points. You need three points to win. And holy smokes, was that fast. Bathroom break. Let's hype it up. We're going to do a yeah. bathroom break here in a second. But guys, be sure to put a GG in the chat. Be sure to hit the like button. We're not going anywhere. We're just going to play a little video here of our final four runners so that you guys can meet the final four. But holy smokes, that was incredible. What a matchup. Tier six model coming with answers yeah. within one second of each other. Less than 10 minutes to complete that whole thing. Ate says, I got to go to the bathroom. You go to the bathroom, my friend. We will not start until you guys get back. Uh, good luck. Everybody can go to the bathroom. Everybody can go do a bio break. But holy yeah. smokes, this is incredible. Guys, we're going to put on a little video here during this intermission. You guys can learn a little bit about our final four. You can go use the restroom, and we'll be back here in just about 10 minutes. We'll be right back. I'm going to leave the chat up here while we're, while we're showing this video. And uh, guys, wow. GG, GG. Holy smokes, that was incredible to watch. GG to Atze earning that second point. You need three points to win the world championship. We'll see you guys in about 10 minutes.